Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 9 of season 2 of the Saints Magic Power is Omnipotent. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. I'm not going to question that, but okay. <sighs> we hope, but I mean, yeah. I got a bad feeling about this.
<laughs> I mean, well, yes, but still. Come on, lovebirds. Easy. Now of all times. Yeah, and then plus you want to do it by yourself? I mean, we know, yeah, you're also OP, but still... I mean, wasn't that a little too easy, though? But, I mean, okay, you do you!
right? I mean, <laughs> once again, she's just also OP AF as well, but seriously. <laughs> Battles get done way too freaking quickly, or just anything gets done well, way too quickly. But I mean, hey, I'm not mad at it. Oh my god! How are they gonna find each other? No, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so you need to at least, like, she's the first priority. We gotta find her. We look so good right there. I'm sorry. I, you know, because I gotta say that. Hope. Of course you will. Baby. This might end up going into next week's episode. She might be separated from them for almost the rest of the damn episode. That's good. <laughs> but be cautious at the same time, though. <laughs> like, long lost lovers. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> I can't. I'm gonna die. Well, guys, I think we're in the right place. Mm-hmm. It's episode one all over again. Hurry! Oh my god!
Okay, so now to finally see how that moment in episode one truly concluded. Like, because let's be honest, ever since that aired in the first episode for weeks, I really have, I even thought in the first episode we would have got to, gotten to that part. But because the fact is they showed it, I mean, that is a good way to start the episode or really the second series and such. I mean, they kind of really did that with season one, so I'm not really mad at it. It's still genius, and I really think more studios, when they animate anything, should really do that. Like, show a moment that is very pivotal and important and show that at the beginning and then rewind, like, get everything leading up to that point. We're seeing all this other stuff initially leading up to it. And then be like, oh, hey, remember all of this? And then boom, right then and there. Like, one of my favorite TV shows of all time has done that as well. And that's how the show, the very first episode starts. Is the conflict is, okay, yeah, somebody di dies in the end of this episode. But when you're looking at the first episode and you're seeing the conflict of quote unquote somebody dying and you're getting all these characters introduced in the first episode, you start looking around and play some bets and being like, okay, by the end of this series, which is only, at, well, season one was seven episodes for this show that I'm talking about. And then season two is also seven episodes. Hold on. <laughs> now if you two don't fucking hug and kiss something everybody did so good today good job everyone <laughs> okay so continuing as I said, so the first episode of my favorite show and how it starts, like I said, someone dies. And then continuing on in the episode, you meet the characters of this whole situation and you're figuring out, okay, so yeah, someone dies. You start placing bets on who it is, if it's a guy, if it's a girl, whoever, and such. And then the more things that you learn throughout the six episodes from episode two to episode six leading into the final episode you're still placing bets like sometimes you can be like oh i think it's this person oh i think it's that person and such and then it isn't truly until you finally see those moments get resolved in the final episode and you find out who it truly is when you re-watch the show it makes you be like okay now i can see why this character was the one who ended up dying. And as someone who just rewatched that show um, over the weekend it, for the millionth time and you see those things that you didn't see the first time when you watched it, you're just like, oh. And it feels like you're watching a brand new show all over again. And that's what it felt like with this. To finally get to this moment after nine weeks is very much interesting because as I said it was something that I really wanted to know truly because it was like yes getting to learn all these other things and such for say and her journey of what she's been doing these last couple of weeks was very interesting but I was like the things in episode one you still had to place that in the back of your mind and was killing me wondering when the heck we were going to get it now that we're finally here and we're reached the conclusion of this now it's like the skies is the limit on what could happen in these next couple of episodes and such. Of course, the thing of marriage, if she's gonna pick Hawk, which we all know she is, because duh, their chemistry is just high. There is no one else on par with those two. I mean, yes, you have all the other guys in this show who are just such like really good characters and very have very good chemistry with her but not as much as commander hop because remember she saved him in the first episode of season one so psh, how and then how, no 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 let's talk about this the fact that these two were running towards each other they were both looking for each other and then they finally find each other and he hugs her embraces her embraces her like imagine like you you go on a trip and you haven't seen your boyfriend or your girlfriend for a long time or like your your boyfriend your husband your girlfriend your wife whoever 
gets deployed in like the Navy and such, and you don't see them for like over almost a year or a year and a half or two years. And when you finally see them, all those emotions that you've had ever since they've left you, like, yeah, like even FaceTiming, um, texting or whatever, that's still good. But getting the time and the chance to have someone with you face to face is completely different to finally have them right in front of you. And even though they were gone for like a really separated for really not that long, because I was expecting the next episode to really be like a two parter and such. Um, but for them to finally, like for me, it felt like years for them, but it, it wasn't truly. But for them to finally see each other again, girl, like Hawk could not contain himself. He had to hug that guy to her. So, I mean, yeah, like that's just so sweet and wholesome. Like I cannot, I just love the show so freaking much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode nine of season two of the Saints Magic Power. It's omnipotent. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.